When we eat the bread and drink the cup of wine, we believe that Christ in us is our hope of glory. Peace and blessings. This is Father Paulo for IEC 2016. Today, the world stopped at Cebu to be one body in Christ if the statue Orbis Mass presided by the Papal Legate Burmese Cardinal Charles Mongo to close the successful 8-day 51st International Eucharistic Congress. Around 500,000 delegates, including 200 bishops, 1,500 priests, and 13,000 delegates from 72 countries, filled the South Reclamation Project open grounds to grace the momentous event and to listen to the video message of Pope Francis. In his message, Pope Francis recalled his visit to the Philippines in 2015. He praised the deep faith, the devotion, and resilience of the Filipinos and summoned the faithful to be bringers of the bomb, of God's merciful love in families and communities. Pope Francis invited the faithful to reflect on the two significant gestures of the Holy Eucharist. As you now prepare to go forth on the end, of this Eucharistic Congress, there are two gestures of Jesus at the Last Supper, which I would ask you to reflect on. Both have to do with the missionary dimension of the Eucharist. They are table fellowship and the washing of feet. Our Lord Jesus' presence in the Eucharist, says the Pope, is not only a consolation, but a promise and summons to Christian witness of mercy and compassion, of service, of respectful dialogue with followers of other religions. Pope Francis then announced that Hungary is the venue for the 2020 International Eucharistic Congress. And then, of the Congress, I'm happy to announce that the next international Eucharistic Congress will take place in 2020 in Budapest, Hungary. In his trademark wit and pastoral wisdom, Cardinal Bo also lauded the Filipino faith for serving as beacon of light and hope not only in Asia but to the whole world. Echoing the appeal of Pope Paul VI and John Paul II to the Philippine Church to become today's Paul of Tarsus, Cardinal Bo said, Church is not an income generating agency. Church is a hope generating fellowship. Filipinas, Go, multiply your missionaries, multiply your children. Cardinal Boven stressed the importance of the bread of economic and environmental justice and the bread of love in the family. The family is the first communion. The family is the nuclear church. Table fellowship is held regularly in the family. Family breaks the bread every day not only in the Philippines, but all over the world, Catholic Church returns to the family. When it celebrates Eucharist, it celebrates the per capita dignity of every family. Enough food, a decent income, ability to send their children to school. It is the manna in the desert. It is the food that comes from heaven. He led the assembly to deepen their commitment to family and the youth. The church must return to the youth. A church that neglects the youth writes its own death sentence. Archbishop Jose Palma of Cebu then extended his profound gratitude to the organizers, benefactors and sponsors, speakers, pilgrims, delegates of the Congress and the faithful. He especially mentioned the country of Taiwan, which has the most number of delegates, 600 delegates with the vice president of the country present. Serving as choir, the choristers from the different parishes and schools of Cebu, accompanied by the UST Symphony Orchestra under the baton of Monsignor Rodolfo Villanueva. 
Cardinal Bo granted the apostolic blessing with plenary indulgence to the faithful who are present in the Mass, who are sorry for sins and who strive by holiness of life to walk in full communion with the Church. Prior to the Eucharistic celebration, the Sacrament of Confession was administered in various stations. The procession of principal devotions of Cebu, namely Santo Nino, Our Lady of Guadalupe, and Pedro Calungson, the singing of the IEC hymn with the parade of flags of countries who participated in the Congress and cultural presentations. After the Mass, the faithful were once again led to the singing of the IEC hymn and were treated with a spectacular display of fireworks, manifesting their renewed commitment as a Eucharistic people. The series of talks, sharings, and testimonies on the Eucharist may have ended, but the journey of witnessing Christ in us, of Christ in the Eucharist as our hope of glory, indeed goes on. You may follow us on our social media accounts. This has been Father Paulo Asprer of the Society of St. Paul for IEC 2016. is our hope of glory.